It's like as soon as you hit the bottom, you get tagged right away. Okay, I think he's on. Yeah, he's on. Woo! This one's a fighter. Amber's got something. Real honey, real. Go honey, go. Real faster. Ah. Oh wow, what? Wait, that's a big mackerel. Yeah, that's a big mackerel. Holy cow. Hey, that's a nice size sheep's head. That's what took you into the rock, go ahead. Hey anglers and anglets, it's your boy Sven and welcome back to my channel. Amber and I are out on a charter boat trip. We left Hooks Landing in Oxnard. We're going for rockfish and anything else that is out here. Amber is going to be strictly going for rockfish. I'm going to be going for whatever else is out there. I'm hoping to land like a nice yellowtail, maybe some bonito. I got like this, I don't even know what this thing is called, this jig, this lure or whatever, but the guy who recommended it to me said it was a scrambled egg color and I was like, I can't resist using a scrambled egg color. So that's why I got hooked up. So let me show you my rod. I've actually had this rod out here and there, but I never gave it a formal introduction. This is the Akuma Nomad Express. It's a travel rod, it breaks into four pieces and this thing can take a pounding so i got this rod specifically for large game yellowtail large halibut and all that stuff so hopefully it pays off and this rod can handle what i'm gonna put it through today i also got daiwa bg 4500 it's a great saltwater reel from daiwa i highly recommend the daiwa bg series i've had no problems with this so far and it reels up really smoothly and everything about this reel is incredibly nice so if you're considering picking up a nice saltwater reel i do recommend the bg series from daiwa just want to do a quick intro while we are moving spots don't want to take away too much of the action so stay tuned for the next catch oh it's taking your drag bring it up honey bring it up nice it's a rockfish i think i'm stuck on the bottom i think i accidentally wasn't paying attention yeah i think i'm stuck on the bottom Amber's got another fish. It's a sculpin. Getting nibbles. All right, I think I'm up. There we go. I think this is a quality one. Oh, nice. It's a sculpin. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and let him go. All right, there we go. It took a long time, but I finally caught my first fish. It wasn't a big sculpin, but technically that hashtag first fish freedom. Yeah. Here is a nice whole squid. It's gonna drop it right down. No more squid cut bait. So nothing else has been working. Time to bring it back. Good old reliable shrimp. So I got about half a shrimp here. Just gonna drop it down and see what happens. Shrimp has never failed me before. Oh yeah, there we go. Finally got something on good old reliable shrimp. Bite's a little slow for me. Let's see what we got. <laughs> it's a baby starry rockfish. Hey, I'll take him. I mean, I won't take him, but I'll take the bite. All right, later. That burb's got the fish. Look at him go. Sir, that fish is too big for you. <laughs> I think it's on. Oh yeah, it's on. Ooh. The bite's on, honey. I'm catching fish. This is the second one and within five minutes. Woo! Let's see what I catch. A whitefish. Nice. Wow, look at the size of this guy. That's a good whitefish. These guys are fantastic for fish tacos. Look at this. 
You can't grab him, he's so slimy. All right, it took some time, but the bite is finally on. You can't go wrong with good old reliable shrimp. Shrimp will always be my top favorite baits for any type of fishing, honestly. It just goes well with everything. There's just so many things I like to eat shrimp. It's such a good universal bait. Nice little medium between good integrity to hook on and stay on when it gets bit, as well as lots of things that like to eat it. But that's just my thoughts, what do I know, right? You caught a perch. Or actually, I don't know what it is. Oh yeah. Shrimp putting in work. It's a chunky one. Ugh. Okay, now the chunky, just another starry rockfish. Bring it up, honey. Go, 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 go. I didn't hear that go. Now you got it. It's another tiny starry rockfish. There you go. Tiny starry rockfish. Nipples? Nibbles. Oh. Oh, that thing took it. Still on? Yeah, yeah, it's still on. Another starry. Felt like he was bigger. Holy cow. They come on something. It feels really heavy. Another dinky starry rockfish. Even the small ones feel like they're really big ones. I mean, not complaining. It's still a nice fight and it's still nice to catch something. Especially since earlier on it was dead for like like an hour, an hour and a half. So it's nice to start catching things again. Just gotta catch that big fish. It's a white fish. Something like my. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, this one's taking drag. A lot of it. Whoa. A white fish. Nice, a good size one. Well, it looks like there's probably not gonna be any crazy catches like a yellow tail or bonito for today, but you know, catching some white fish, still fun. I mean, fishing in general is fun. You got something? Look at that bend. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's still there. Stop. It's taking me around. Another white fish for Amber. Yeah, these guys are still really fun to catch. How do they fight? They fight pretty good, right? Yeah. Look at these buggers, they're so cool. I like this part right here. Very soft. Come on, fishy boys. Oh, okay, there we go. Another one. Another white fish. I like the nice little fog layer on the horizon. Covers up the sun a little bit, stops the sun from beating down on us so hard. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to fish. Oh, oh good one? What? Yeah, it's a good one. I had my rod off. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. oh, yeah, absolutely. It's like as soon as you hit the bottom, you get tagged right away. Okay, I think he's on. Yeah, he's on. Woo! This one's a fighter. Another white fish. They really like the shrimp. Good old reliable shrimp. Yeah, the bite's starting to get really good now. As soon as you hit the bottom, do like one or two turns, and then you get nabbed right away. Or at least you get some activity right away. Let's actually try a little squid again. It's been a while. I'm gonna see if squid gets anything. Come on. Oh. This one's fire. But I've said that for every single one of them. Whitefish. Such a neat fish. Looks like this video is gonna be mainly whitefish. Probably gonna call it whitefish plus other fish randomly. Who knows? Let's see if our luck changes and I catch something spicy. Nibble, 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 nibble. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Watch, it's probably gonna be another medium sized one. That feels like a really big one. I'm calling it, it's another whitefish. Oh. Yep, another. Well, this one's actually really small. I think I'm gonna throw this one back. There we go. My tiny white fish. Thanks for playing. Whoops. Okay, well, he went back in. Good enough. The bite's been pretty good. Amber and I got a good uh, couple of fish between us. Several fish between us, actually. So, no need to keep the small ones. It's still a great day, you know. Spare the ones that don't need to be caught. Just let them be free. Get them bigger. Catch them again next time. We move spots just really quick. I swap back to good old reliable shrimp because it's a new spot. I want to see what's around. It's probably just going to be more whitefish, but not complaining. <laughs> Would be nice to catch a good sheep's head though. I know sheep's head go for shrimp. Some good old... Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, this one's a good one. Another whitefish. Actually, still kind of small. All right, bye little guy. Thanks for playing. 
cook. There's a big spider. How big is it? I don't know. I think it got tired. Either that or you let go. No, no, it's tired. There's still a lot of bend on your tip. Go, honey, go. Go, honey, go. Oh, it's 120 feet. <laughs> Work those muscles. I have done. <laughs> Keep going. You can do it. Oh, you double whammy the white fish. Oh, the top one's nice size. Maybe that's why it was so heavy. <laughs> double whammy for Amber. This guy's kind of small. We're going to let him go. See you later, white fish. Thanks for playing. Boop. This one's a really big one. I don't know how big he is compared to the other one, but this is a really nice chonky one. I mean, look at the size of him. Nice, nice white fish. You know what I realized? I'm pretty sure you have more fish than me. I checked our bags. You have like a good chunk of fish and I got like a handful. You're winning. A little tiny competition doesn't hurt. I'll take your butt, I don't care. All right, it's on. Let's see if you get another double whammy. <laughs> you can do it. Go honey, go. <laughs> Work those tiny <laughs> arms. <laughs> don't hit your lap right now. <laughs> oh. You can do it. Oh man, that's really, really taking it. Another double whammy. A white fish and a mackerel. <laughs> Another double whammy for Amber. Yeah, she's definitely going to win this one. She's got some really nice fish today. Maybe this should be fishing with Amber. She's doing really good. Gotta redeem myself. Gotta catch a nice sheephead. Alright, I'm going to try a tiny piece of mackerel that Amber caught earlier. See if that catches anything different. Just been catching whitefish with shrimp and squid. So let's see if mackerel brings a lucky charm to itself. But if you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know. I'm probably just going to end up catching more mackerel because mackerel like to eat mackerel. And it's the funniest thing ever. What the heck is going for this? This is the piece of mackerel. Nope, not a mackerel. Just another whitefish. All right, so whitefish also go for mackerel. Good to know. Jeez, Amber almost hit me with a double whammy. Nice one, honey. Another double whammy for whitefish. You getting really tired? Yes. Be free, Mr. Whitefish. Boop. Stuff splashing over there. There's just so many things jumping everywhere. Hold on, something's going for this. It's big. It's pulling drag. That's a nice mackerel. That's a nice mackerel on the jig. Look at the size of this mackerel. That's a good one. Can't get these inshore, or at least not very often. All right, guys, that's enough for this episode. We're heading back right now. This was only a three fourth day. It's just a nice quick, I think eight hour session. Amber and I caught a lot of fish in between us. Definitely a lot more than we need. So we're gonna spread it out to friends and family when we get back home, so. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. What Amber and I are gonna do is sit on this boat for the next two hours until we get back to shore. So peace. So we're back on dry land. But what we need to be done, of course, is to preserve your fish. So what you gotta do, put down some ice. All right, first bag. Let's do Amber's bag. This is all her fish. Voila! Now I need to put more ice on top of it. You have to layer the ice to make sure everything is nice and preserved. You don't want any of your catches to spoil on you. Easy peasy. Now it's my bag full of my fosh. Actually, I'll show this one because I have it right here. Here's a nice copper rockfish. Now next bag of ice, next layer just to keep everything nice and fresh. It's important to layer your ice. Don't just plop your fish in the cooler and just throw ice on top. I suggested that to Amber once and she yelled at me. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it just gets the job done. All right, now for real, later guys.